Welcome to you all. My name is Mike Beckel, and I'm here to tell you about an innovative new green energy technology developed by Niama Riser LLC. These automobiles are champions of their time or still play a dominant role in today's automotive industry. Regardless of their age, they are remarkable in terms of the technology they display. Although there are numerous, countless differences between these automobiles, they all have one thing in common, the internal combustion engine. Should it be the world's fastest supercar in the early 1990s, or should it be the first production automobile with four-wheel disc brakes, they all feature a standard four-stroke internal combustion engine which operates in accordance to the auto cycle. What do I mean by that? Every engine of all the automobiles compared today share the same kinematic power plant. It is a four-stroke internal combustion engine that is comprised of pistons that reciprocate in a linear motion and are one endpoint to another in a cylindrical bore. The piston is connected at one end to a connecting rod, which in turn is connected to a crankshaft. This thereafter turns the differential and ultimately the wheels. Going the opposite direction from the piston, the piston face delimits a combustion chamber, which is further delimited by a cylinder head. This cylinder head will feature anywhere from two to four valves per cylinder, max two intake and two outtake valves. Due to the fact that all of these cars are gasoline engines, they have a spark plug screwed into the cylinder head, which ignites the fuel at the right time during the compression stroke. Let's move on to an even rarer automobile, the 1936 Rover Roadster. Its basic engine design, along with that of the XJ220, XK150 S3.8 liter, Lamborghini Gallardo, Lamborghini Espada, Mercedes S600, Mercedes 220 SEB, Ford GT, and Data Maso Mangusta are all predecessors of Nicholas Otto's internal combustion engine patent from the late 19th century. That's almost 120 years ago. What has changed in the basic kinematic design? Nothing has changed besides adding more and more electronics to enlarge the complexity of each of these internal combustion engines. These electronics have made modern internal combustion engines harder to work on, and at present will make them almost obsolete in the future, 20 to 30 years from now, should the scanners for these applications get lost, as well as the electronic parts be obsolete. What then? I present to you the future of the internal combustion engine's reign in the automotive industry. It has nothing in common with the engines shown in all the automobiles here, it is the foundation for a new breed of internal combustion engine, a much more efficient, less maintenance and less costly to produce line of internal combustion engine. It does not even use gasoline since it uses an injection ignition system, diesel, over standard petroleum gasoline, which is a much more efficient source of energy. The engine principle was invented in 2005 and was coined the CHB. The CHB functions in accordance with the Ricer cycle. The riser cycle is a hybrid between a four-stroke and a two-stroke engine. For one single piston, there are two compression strokes per revolution of the crankshaft. This enables the CHB to attain much greater efficiency in comparison to regular four-stroke engines. The compression can be mechanically altered to attain different compression ratios. In its current state, a compression ratio greater than 25 to 1 is achieved. All of this accumulates to bring about a 67% of efficiency versus max 41% of common internal combustion engines. The maintenance is significantly reduced. There is no oil necessary for lubrication since crucial components are manufactured from proprietary composite material. This will reduce the maintenance overhead of every unit produced in the market. Furthermore, there are much less moving parts than in common internal combustion engines. There are no valves, spark plugs, chains, distributor, water pump, oil pump, etc. As you can tell from the displays or prototype, the CHB1 featured water canals for cooling. The new and improved CHB Evolution uses air cooling to eliminate one or more maintenance item. The CHB is also much less costly to produce since the number of engine components are reduced by 50%. Not only did the number of engine components decrease per unit produced, but also the overall number of components for a range of different units decreased. The CHB1 and CHB EVO can be coupled in form of a sandwich principle. This enables the manufacturer to only produce one set of components and couple multiple units together so that the displacement of the engines can vary. This will reduce the production, transportation, and assembly overhead per unit sold. The CHB engine family will significantly impact the automotive industry as well as other industries like agriculture, construction, maritime, and transportation. 
All of these revolutionary technologies are protected by multiple patents ranging from the USA, Germany, India, China, and Japan. Let's take this a step further. Niana Reiser LLC has been diligently working on packaging their product, the CHB engine, into a four-passenger vehicle that's capable of traveling 200 miles on one gallon of fuel. As you can tell by the display, the automobile has a sleek and appealing body style. Not only is it an eyesight, but a lot of engineering, CFD analysis went into it. Its drag coefficient is much less than modern day vehicles sold. For that reason, the wind resistance is almost null and friction due to modified wheel bearings, brakes and CV shafts minimal. This dream team of automobile and engine is capable of transporting four occupants with a functioning air condition at 70 miles per hour with a fuel consumption of only one gallon per 200 miles. This beautiful body shell of the NR1 is protected by a design patent. Should you be intrigued now or want to know more details to when this technology will hit your neighborhood, please feel free to visit www.nr-chb.com. Stay tuned for more information in the mainstream media.